coming in for one for our pal Ryan. And uh, Ryan was saying, you got to check out this song, uh, We're Finished with Finishing School, from a band called The Upper Crust. And uh, if this is the band that I'm thinking of, they got the powdered wigs on and stuff, very uh, uh, English. And uh, uh, I don't know a whole lot about them. I do believe I've heard a song or two, but I, I've never heard We're Finished with Finishing School. So we're gonna get into this for Ryan. He says, you gotta check out the studio version. I looked for uh, a video. Uh, but I couldn't find anything that had the official audio on it. So that's why we're doing it here on the first listen so we can hear the studio version of the song. We're finished with finishing school from the upper crest. Sound good? First, what we do, we learn about this band, then we do the song for Ryan. And uh, we're going to get into it right now. The Upper Crest, they have 2,439 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Um, Eureka, I Found Love, 85,000 plays. You got Let Them Eat Rock. Uh, 35,000 plays. You got Tell Mother I'm Home, 33,000 plays. Once more into the bree breach. Uh, it, it dot dot dots there. If I hit it, it'll start playing. So 17,000 plays and we're finished with finishing school. This comes from the official album, but we are doing, uh, I think it's just the recut from the studio album from the album Cream of the Crust. It's kind of a compilation best of album. But uh, the album that has, uh, we're finished with finishing school is Once More Around the Breaches is what that is. One, Once More Into the Breaches is the album. Uh, we're gonna get into the albums and see what this band has released thus far in their careers. Uh, by the look of them, you'd think, well, they, they, it was about the time of Shakespeare is when they would have been around, but uh, no. Uh, 2005, is the album that's got uh, the song we're doing today. It's uh, Once More Into the Breaches, comes out in 2005. Then you've got Cream of the Crust, 2006. Lords and Ladies, 2016. So, wow, 10 years there between albums. And Delusion of Grandeur comes out in 2017, so they haven't done anything since then. Is this their full catalog of albums on Spotify? Um, again, we're gonna go th with the, uh, the album that you're seeing there is the uh, Cream of the Crust. So maybe they re-release that song or something. But uh, let's look into the related artists for this band. This will tell, give us an idea of who they might play shows with, who do people listen to when they lit in their mood to listen to them. Perhaps the Upper Crust has even played shows uh, with them or they're on some kind of a playlist of some sort. The Casanovas, uh, Super Suckers, yeah, Eddie Spaghetti, we know them. Uh, Diamond Dogs, we've done them before, I believe. Uh, Small Jackets, Nashville Pussy, oh, we all remember them. Nine Pound Hammer. Stone Gods, 7-7, seven, seven, Red Cross. That's a that's a punk band, isn't it? From the old olden timey days of the like 90s, 80s and 90s, Red Cross. Uh, the Devil Dogs, the Dictators. Remember we did that video uh, on uh, Mark the Animal Mendoza? That was his band, the Dictators, punk band. Electric Frankenstein, yeah, and we've uh, talked mentioned them before. It is time to get into the bio for this band, and then we're going to listen to that song. And yes, you can see they're wearing their gold uh, little outfits there, and they've got the wigs on and stuff, and they're uh, uh, very fancy lads. Uh, isn't the uh, the drummer wearing like the, the the woman's version of the of the powdered wig with the two little lumpy bumpy tit breasts on top? Uh, and they're saying, Shane, thou hath come over here and uh, and uh, rocketh with us. Why don't you please and kindly? Combining high camp aristocratic foppery with hard rock, Boston Combo, the upper crust, oh, they're from Boston, appear on stage wearing powdered wigs and the attire of 18th century nobility and have a lyr lyrical sensibility to match. Formed in 1994 from a surf act called the Clam Diggers, the upper crust power pop antics have been described as ACDC meets the Buzzcocks at a theater showing of This Is Spinal Tap, after packaging their trademark on the 1995 album Let Them Eat Rock, Emperor Norton, Norton, Emperor Norton Records signed the band and released their 1997 follow-up, The Decline and Fall of the Upper Crust, inspired as much by Kiss and Bon Scott era ACDC as by the European nobility whom they mock. The quartet works under the assumed names of Lord Bendover, guitar vocals, Count Basie, bass vocals, the duck distortion, uh, guitar vocals, and Jackie Kickasses drums. Following a 2000 live double album appropriately called Entitled The Upper Crust, called Entitled, 
The Upper Crust released their third studio album, Once More, Into the Breaches in 2001. There you have that. I read a lot of that bio. Pretty good, I think. Um, so we're going to get into this for Ryan now. We're going to go over to Cream of the Crust album. I don't know if there's a whole bit, m lot of difference between the songs. Um, but we're going to do it anyways. We're finished with finishing school. You ready for this? This is the magic tat. We're going back into the 18th century. Put on your powdered wig if you've got one laying around for your S&M and B&D and B&S&Ms and &B &S that you do when you're at home by yourself naked at night. Uh, we're finished with finish, finishing school right now. Here we go. Tit, bang. Here we go. Someone's getting their head chopped off. Bon Scott era ACDC. Yeah, I've never heard this. Well, sounds like a bagpipe back there. Wow. ACD miss mixed with the buzzcocks, yeah. Sounds like Bon Scott. Hot damn! Only thing that'll make this better, Terry. I'm gonna go listen to this whole album. She decreed, we declined. She said she knew how to change our mind. Said she lined us to behave with it. Come back and try to know. That does have an old school ACDC vibe to it, doesn't it? Finish the finish is good. Boy, that gets you thumping. Matron put us up on track, she said. Spare the rat and for the child. Hitman wants that with a switch shot. I turn around and put a heart on the pitch. Now we're thrown out in this race. Now I'm leather and stand in lace. Now we're the ones who make the rules. And we're finished with finishing school. We're finished with finishing school. Yeah. Boy, man, in this time, they need to put out a new album. They need to keep going. Boudoir. Boy, that was rocking. That's that shit I could hear Bon Scott era ACDC doing. I mean, that's that's that was the shit. That's the great thing about those kind of. God. I mean, you really call it a flashback band, couldn't you? They're wearing goddamn powdered wigs and stuff. I'm gonna go listen to that record. That was fantastic. That had the heavy groove. We're talking, you know, kind of rose tattoo, ACDC, heavy groove. Groove metal. I mean, groove, hard rock and rock and roll. We're finished with fantasy school. Uh, but alas, 
my opinion means absolutely nothing because I like to know what you think of the songs that we do here. So I want your opinion. I want you to get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you think of the upper crust. We're finished with finishing school. And uh, any information you can give me, good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a massive fan of the upper crust. I have been since the day one that they released their first album or the first time I saw them. I thought I saw a clip where they were on Craig uh, Ferguson because um, I was looking for a studio version of the thing and I couldn't find anything but the actual song. But there was some live performances where, where you could see them in the powdered wigs and stuff. Um, all you know, All-time favorite songs, all-time favorite album from this band. Is the rest of that top five that they had there just as good as that? Hot damn. Finishing School was the fifth track on the top five. Uh, all-time favorite album, all-time favorite songs, and have you ever been lucky enough to see them live? I would venture out in COVID horse shit to see this band. If I say, hey, they're coming. They're coming to your town. I'm going. I'll, I'll go see it. Uh, I'll put a fish fish bowl on my head and I'll go see it. Um, or you say, not good, not great, Shane. It's just not my cup of tea. And I don't like that 18th century little outfits and, and powdered wigs and stuff. That's I don't like that kind of gimmicky stuff. It was hard rock and I could hear Bon Scott. I could hear ACDC doing that song uh, if he was still alive and stuff. But it's just not my cup of tea. I don't want it. I don't need it. And I'll never listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below. If you have a hard rock, a heavy metal special request, you say, I'd love to see my request on there. It's a simple and easy process. All you got to do is click one of them links in the description below. We'll get it on for you with thumbsy upsies too, yeah? Um, or you can put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments and I see your request and I go, hey, that's a pretty good one. I like that. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I'll hit it with the heart, tell you I'm going to do it, okay? That's all I got. The Upper Crust. Mm. Finish the finish school.